said it matters how you wait. He was waiting and watching one person get changed and his change didn't come. Have you ever been that way before? Watching God bless everybody else and you ask him, when's my turn? Have you ever been in a circumstance where the wrong people it seems like are getting blessed and you're doing all that you know how to do? Reading your Bible, praying, living as righteous as you know how and it seems like God skipped you? Well, this young man is waiting his turn. Sitting at the place called the gate of mercy. What does God do? God gives you grace for your waiting. That while you're waiting, God will extend his mercy. That while you're waiting, God will give you extra grace. That while you're waiting, grace and mercy will show up like a left arm and a right arm. As long as you're waiting for him. When you're waiting for God. Let me just say, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. This man had a right to say, this is no use. I'll never get in. He had a right to say, I give up. He had a right to say, I'm going to go and try something different. But I believe there's about seven people in the room who just refuse to give up. That there are those people that will keep sitting there and waiting and believing for God. Those are the ones that the devil doesn't want coming to church because they wait with a purpose. That it might not be my time, but when my time comes, you're going to see a change come over my life. I say it matters how you wait, but while I'm waiting, I'm just thanking God for the opportunity to wait. Are 
are you willing? All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sir, verse 7, look what it says. The impotent man says this. I have no man to put me into the pool. All right. The man basically said, yes, I want to be made well. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I will see how this can happen. Yeah. Three problems with that. First, the sick man does what we all do sometimes. Oh, all right. He limits God's help to his own idea. Come on now. And does not promise himself more than what his mind can conceive. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's right. That he can't do more than what I can think he can do. Come uh -huh. on. Look at your neighbor and say, God ain't limited. God ain't limited. Second problem is this. His idea to you send people to help him to get to his wholeness wow. is ridiculous. All right. All right. All right. Mm. How can I ask somebody who can't operate their arms correctly to pick me up and put me in the pool? All right. How can I ask somebody to carry me with legs that don't operate correctly? All right. All right. How can I ask sick people to help me to get better? Yeah. Mm. That my life changes when I change who I'm around. Look at three people say, who you hanging with right now? Who you hanging with? 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 If you want different results, you must be willing to change. Yeah. I'm going to text verse 8. Look at this. Jesus said unto him, rise. The power is not in the sinner. The power is in the command. Yes, well, I'm going to write that down. I'm going to tweet that to somebody. That's going to help somebody. Here. <laughs> the power is not in the sinner, but the power is in the command. If I told you you can do this, you need to believe me, not your sinful life. Let me pray. Say, don't worry about what you can't do. If I commanded that you can do, just trust me and start doing what I commanded you to do. I said you are the head and not the tail. It's time for you to wake up one day and say, I'm the head this morning and I'm not the tail. It's time for you to walk into that job with your head up high. I know that they keep telling you that you're not going to have a job next week. That's all right. I'll be the only unemployed person here in Chester because God said that I am the head and not the tail and it doesn't matter if I'm employed, unemployed, laid off, fired, sitting on the curb, I am still blessed. Somebody say I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. This miracle is different than any of Jesus' miracles. Do you know why? Because watch this. Most times, Jesus would say, your faith has made you whole. He didn't wait for the man, the faith, to connect up to his ministry. He did not wait for his faith to connect to his promise. He just says, listen, whether or not you have faith, just get up. Whether or not you believe it, just get up. There are some things you don't necessarily have to believe, but when you start doing it, it is demonstrated faith. Yes. Yeah.
now command right. with what you have experienced because the command never takes in, uh, in, in it never takes into effect what you've been through. The command is for now and tomorrow. He said, get up. Then he says, this is what he says, get your bed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I struggled with this part because if it were me, I would have left me. I've been laying on that thing for 38 years. No wash in the world is going to make it look any better. Even bed alone. All right. Stop, man. I need you to carry. Right. Mm. What you've been yes. laying on for 30 years. Yes. Oh, yes. Right, so Woo. Woo. Oh, yeah. The thing that has been overpowering you for 38 years, yeah. right. I want you to take it in your hand. Right. Show somebody that you got all the control. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to pick it up. Yeah. I want you to hold it. Yeah. Because when you go through your next problem, your bed will be a testimony of what God can do. Does anybody have any beds that they need to pick up in their hands? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick up your bed. That's all right. Look what he says. Walk. Yeah. Walk. Walk. Yeah. 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 Thousand people. Thousands. All right. When he talks about this multitude sitting around this little pool, there were thousands of people sitting there, laying out. Not certain what was going to happen next, but all waiting for one movement of war. Yeah. Yes. He says, man, you ain't got to wait for all that. You just get on up, pick up your bed, and walk out of here. You can do that if you want to. But if it was me, I wouldn't be walking. I'd be running. All right. I would be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Because the longer you stay, yeah. the more you believe, yeah. the more you start feeling sorry for the ones who did not get here. Right. There's some circumstances in your life that you better be glad you got out. Yeah. You can't rescue everybody. To stay behind, and God's trying to give me some strength so that I can go back. But now ain't the day when the free people say, Now ain't the day, now ain't the day, now ain't the day. Right now, I gotta look for myself. Listen, man, I need you to get up and I need you to walk. All right. Now, and this happened on Sunday morning. Look, somebody say Sunday morning. Sunday morning. <laughs> you don't believe me, Drake, on the text, verse number nine. Look, it says, Immediately, the man was made whole, took up his bed, and it says, and walk, and on the same day, it says it was the what? Yeah. On the Sabbath. On Sunday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. You have a right to be a part of a church yeah. where you can see miracles happen yeah. on Sunday. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, preacher. You have a right to be a part of a body of believers yeah. Yeah, yeah. where when people get changed, that's a Sunday for them. Yeah. It's not about the day, yeah. but it's about the moment that their life yes, changed. Yeah. I want to be a part of something yeah. All right. where I can see people that were broken get healed. Yeah. Because when they get broken and they're healed, I remember that. And that'll help me when I'm broken. And I can say, if God could touch the lion and if I could yeah. help them, if I could change and beat the bear, if he can heal him and if they can raise them, then God can do it for me. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Here's where the enemy will challenge you. Look at three people and say, he'll challenge you, he'll challenge you. Come on, preacher. Two ways ago, I'm going to take my seat. First, right. it is not lawful for you All right. to take up your bed. Come on, right. man. And walk. Mm. It is not, it is illegal for you. All right. To have control over your life. Okay. Control the people said. <laughs> They'll 
try to tell you all the reasons in the world why you can't do what you're already doing. Come on. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Just because I didn't go to math class doesn't mean I don't know what one plus one equals two. Don't allow the enemy to tell you what you're not already doing. What does your neighbor say? Prayer works. But if you pray for somebody and things happen in their life, don't you let somebody tell you that prayer don't work. It's illegal. All right. You can't do that. It's not allowed. You're out of order. <laughs> we can't allow you to move forward. All right. Second thing is this. He says in verse 12, what man told you you were free? All right. Mm. There are times in your life when people will challenge changing your life. All right. And try to connect it with other people. Yeah. Come on now. When you get a miracle in your life, people ain't really involved outside of prayer. Look at your name and say, it was God. It was God. It was God. That's right. I love it when God puts a person in a circumstance where men can't bail them out. I love it when God puts them in a circumstance when God touches men's lives. I love it when God puts people in a circumstance where the only way you can get out is it's because of God. That's right. Yeah. 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 Jesus. Yeah. 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 Let me get out and let me get my God desires to change it. Mm. All right. He desires to come into your life. Yes, Lord. It's totally turning around. Some people believe that God doesn't move today. All right. God still moves. God still saves. God still changes. All right. This man had been struggling with something for 30 years. Yeah. Jesus came, tapped him on the shoulder, and mm. said, Man, all right. if you ready, let's go. Somebody in this room mm -hmm. may not have been struggling as long as he has. Oh, yeah. But the struggle that you feel all right. feels like it. Yeah. Mm. You say, God, the Holy Spirit is walking in this room, tapped you on the shoulder. Oh, wow. He said, If you want to get hold, get up. If you're in this place, if you know that you're not saved, you want to give God your life. All right. I want to tell you. Yeah. You can get up. You need me right here in this room. All right. What somebody needed, I needed somebody to tell me that you don't have to keep sitting there. All right. All right. But your life broken. Man, all you got to do is get up on God's command. Yeah. 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 You're in this room. Yeah. You're not saved. You have a bad relationship with God. You need to return back to the Lord. I'm going to ask you to meet me right in front. Yeah. Right here. God is waiting for you. Thank you. God is waiting for you. He's waiting for you.